show you guys a little preview of Windows 8. I'm going to show you some of the UI changes and um, some of the new things on here. And um, first of all, this is the startup screen when you first turn on your computer. I'm running this operating system in a virtual machine right now, so it might run a little laggy because of that. Hopefully, I can get this running on a real computer and be able to take full advantage of the operating system. Now, first, to get the login screen, you just push this up. It will You will be asked for your password, and it's going to be asking for your Windows Live account, and you will... When Microsoft is requiring that you have a Windows Live account for your Microsoft operating system and the whole reason for that is basically when you are um let's say you want to log into another Windows a PC you could actually use your Windows Live account and it will still have all your saved pictures and videos your desktop background stuff like that and that's that's very useful if you're using computers all the time and you have a lot of computers that way you don't have to be constantly transferring data from one PC to another alright now I'm gonna log in and I'm just gonna show you guys how fast this will log you in it logs you in real quick submit and this is the startup screen you get the startup screen is very customizable I'm pretty sure that you can change the background here and you can customize all these little tabs. You can move them around. You can add new ones. You can pin websites on here. As you can see, I pinned our website right here. And here's the mobile version of Internet Explorer. This is the one that's going to be used on tablets because this operating system will be on tablets, laptops, and PCs. This is a full HTML browser. It will be using HTML5 and CSS3. Now I'm just going to show you guys uh, the desktop here now that you've seen the whole startup screen. These are the little apps. I'll talk about the apps later. Now this is your desktop. The desktop pretty much looks the same. One thing I don't like about the desktop though is that they did change the little start menu thing here. And the thing about the start menu is it's not there anymore. You click the start menu, it goes to your startup screen. Um, I'm really used to having the search right there because I use the search all the time. I still haven't even found the search in this operating system yet. I know it's in here. I just haven't had the chance to find it. And here you have Internet Explorer 10. Here's the full version. Um, once again, HTML5, CSS3, all that nice stuff. Um, Internet Explorer 10 is going to come out with Windows 8. And um, I want to show you guys uh, Windows Explorer. It's, it's got a little makeover here. Um, it's got the ribbons that originated from Microsoft Office. Now you'll find this in every Microsoft product now. And I, I really, I really think this is useful for um, Windows Explorer. I, I really like it. You got copy, paste, cut, delete, everything you could possibly need is up there. You even got a history. Now, another thing that they um, completely redid would be the task manager. Task manager has finally got a makeover after quite some time. And it's very detailed. It's much more detailed than it used to be. It, it tells you exactly how much RAM each program is using, how much of your processor it's using. It also tells you how much of your hard drive and how much data is being transferred through your internet tells you the clock speed of your processor right here I'm running at 3.43 gigahertz right now and um, it'll give you an app history and um, right here this is basically really good for let's say a tablet that's running on a 3g network this is a very good way to monitor your bandwidth with through that network and it shows you all your apps and it shows shows you exactly how many megabytes each app has been using so if there's just one app that is just killing your bandwidth you just look right here and you'll know which one it is I think that's very nice that they did that especially if you're gonna be running this operating system 
on a 3G network. Now I'm going to go back to the start screen here and um, I'm going to talk about the apps. The apps, right now currently this is basically all that's out there, but as you can see there's going to be a Microsoft Store and on the Microsoft Store that's where developers can put their apps and making apps for this operating system is extremely easy which means there's gonna be tons of apps now even I when Microsoft releases this operating system I will make an app I will make a legendary views app for here so you guys can use it here and the fact that people any person could easily make an app for this operating system so easily is really good almost anyone could make an app as long as you're a website designer even a website designer could make an app all it requires is HTML5, JavaScript it, very simple stuff, stuff that is native to a web designer and it, it's, it's pretty cool you could use Visual Studio to make apps for this and the cool thing about that is you can convert that app so you can put it on the Windows phone as well and because it's so easy to make apps for this operating system I'm pretty sure the first few weeks of Windows 8's release that hundreds and hundreds of apps are going to be made every day and I expect that this is going to be great competition for the iPad I mean within a year I I, I do think honestly that Microsoft could have more apps than the iPad this is going to be very very competitive with the iPad now here I'm just gonna show you guys um, the control panel that they have here now you still have the original control panel on um, your desktop but this is um this is the mobile version here and as you can see you could change um, that, that first startup screen that you guys saw there you can change the picture of that it's this very customizable operating system Windows 7 wasn't exactly that customizable here you could just add more users and um, let's go to yeah here here's the original control panel here and as you can see it's it's stayed the same um, it seems to be basically about all I wanted to show you guys so um, I, I would expect more videos from us really soon we're gonna be making some Battlefield 3 Modern Warfare 3 and also Skyrim videos when the, all those games come out we'll be reviewing them on the website as well and another thing to be watch out for is a new tutorial series from us where we show you guys how to build a PC and even if you know absolutely nothing about building a PC I will show you step by step how to build a PC I will show you every part and I'll tell you what every part does I will really really explain it and it's gonna it's gonna be a lot of videos to show you guys um exactly everything that goes on in a computer I'm gonna show you guys how to put it together I'm gonna show you Intel systems AMD systems everything you name it I will be making a tutorial for it that's basically about it I gotta go sorry about my voice I think I'm getting a cold um yeah so don't forget to go to legendaryviews.com.